Welcome to episode five o three, Fishing Village Billionaires, Paul Getty of U.S. and U.K., Li Xiao Qi of Hong Kong, Guatam Adani of India. This is an outline of episode five o three. Why do we study fishing village billionaires? First, most of us, and that includes Paul Chan, associate fishing village with vacation and seafood. But to the eyes of the greatest investors, they see billion first. The profit equation: ten thousand x. If you make ten x your investment, that is ten times, you will probably become a millionaire. If you make ten thousand x your investment, you might be as rich as Paul Getty. Second, they are not fishermen. I give you three examples here: Paul Getty, Li Xiao Qi. Guantam Adani, the opportunities of fishing villages are still there. In 2019, Li Xiaoqi Adani are living examples. Example number one: Paul Getty. Paul Getty was the richest man in the world in the 1970s. He discovered Kuwait and Cancun when they were just fishing villages. Getty paid Dib and Saud $9.5 million in cash and $1 million a year for a 60-year concession to attract a barren land near the border of Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. No oil had ever been discovered there. This is what Kuwait looks like in the 1940s. This is what Kuwait looks like after they discover oil. Paul Getty also discovered Cancun, then a fishing village, but he turned it into a world-class resort. Example number two: Li Shao Qi. He arrived in Hong Kong as a refugee without a high school education. He discovered Sha Tin, then a fishing village. This is what Sha Tin looks like. This is what Sha Tin looks like today. Sha Tin today has hundreds of high rise and thousands of apartments. In 2018, Li Shao Qi is the world's richest real estate billionaire. My、example number three is Guatam Adani. He was the college dropout who later became the port king of India. And he bought land at Mandra when it was a fishing village. This is what Mandra port looks like today. Now, part two of this episode. Here are the three lessons of fishing village billionaires. Lesson number one: a vision of twenty-year transformation. In twenty years, a fishing village can be transformed into oil fields, world-class resorts like Cancun, metropolis like Sha Tin, and world-class port like Mandra Port. Lesson number two: Think like outsiders. All three, Paul Getty, Li Xiaoqi, and Adani, are outsiders. They are not fishermen. Lesson number three: Think like immigrants. Paul Getty speaks. Five languages. He speaks Spanish when he bought land in Cancun, Mexico. He also speaks Arabic when he bought land in Kuwait. Li Xiaoqi was a refugee immigrant to Hong Kong. Thank you for watching. Next time you visit a fishing village, think Paul Getty, think Li Xiaoqi, think Guatam Adani. A fortune could lie waiting for you. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.